Hey guys, today is Friday, December 1st, 2017. Time for Bipolar Opposites. My name is Timothy Andrew Antonio Cubbin, and I'm going to open myself up completely to you because I'm talking about the five stages of grief today. Now, if you've been watching this whole week, you know that Monday through, say, Friday, I've been doing one of the five stages of grief to talk about on my show. The reason for this is because my aunt just passed away. I was really close with her, so, you know, it's just it's hard to deal with, you know? So I thought, work on seeing maybe I can progress through these stages just by reading about them and talking to you about them. Makes sense, yeah? Anyway, let's get right to the reading. I got this from the, from the five stages of grief from um, Psych Central. I'm going to read you the article, and then we're going to talk a little further from that, okay? Don't ever make slight sl slips, it's just the way I work. Okay, so, stage five is acceptance. Reaching the stage of grieving is a gift not afforded to everyone. Death may be sudden and unexpected, or you never see beyond our anger and denial. It is not, a mark of, no, it's not necessarily a mark of bravery to resist the inevitable and to deny ourselves the opportunity to make our peace. This phase is marked by withdrawal and calm. This is not a period of happiness and must be distinguished from depression. Loved ones that are terminally ill or aging appear to go through a final period of withdrawal. This is by no means a suggestion that they are unaware of their own impending death or such a that only a physical decline may be sufficient to produce a similar response. Their behavior implies that it, is only, that it is natural to reach a stage at which social interaction is limited. The dignity and grace shown by our dying loved ones may well be their last gift to us. Coping with loss is ultimately a deeply personal and singular experience. Nobody can help you go through it more easily or understand all the emotions that you're going through, but others can be there for you and help comfort you through this process. The best thing you can do to allow yourself is to feel the grief as it can, comes over you. Resisting it will only prolong the natural process of healing. Okay, so I, I think I've said enough there, but just one thing is that Aunt Lorraine, I will never get you. I don't want to be angry. I don't want to bargain. I don't want to do anything, feel depression, or deny. I don't want any of that because you were such a great person. You really were. So, you know, I don't want you to go away. I don't want your debt to impound me. So I thought, you know what? Tim Cubbin, out.